Hello, Jess Too Good here, and I usually I wouldn't make a video on which LEGO idea sets that qualify to become sets will become sets in terms of like uh, which ones I would guess, but we have two review phases, I guess you could say, that are very, very interesting. Well, more specifically, the second one, which just happened, I don't know, a week ago, they just showed all the ones that made the deadline. There's a total of 26 projects that can become a real set. They're going to announce the results for those in fall 2020. But before we get to that, there's also this uh, 2019 LEGO review that has 12 projects, and trust me, they're kind of linked together. So I'll go over the 12 first and tell you which ones I think will pass and become real sets, and then we'll go to the 26, because we gotta kind of have the context of this first. So I'm going to say this, the projects I want are mostly gonna be properties I want to see, but also there's going to be some original concepts and everything. So if you're not like a licensed person, you're probably not going to agree with me and that's okay. Let me know what you what projects you want to see in the comments below become real sets. But uh, this first one is the Queen I Want to Break Free project. And this is by Han S. Brickstein. I hope I said that right. And this is uh, not uh, a Queen song I'm like too into. It's not a Queen video I'm too into. So personally, I don't really care for this to become a set as, uh, as it is beyond the minifigures. Like, I would like to get a Lego Freddie Mercury. Like, that would be the best part. <laughs> so, I don't think this would become a set either because not that Queen is, like, an inappropriate band or anything like that. It's just, like, the I Want to Break Free video is very iconic, but I don't think a set based off of that is something that Lego could really market. I think it's, it's really going to be something that a lot of people want just for the figures. I don't know. That's just my two cents, though. So, personally, I don't think that's going to become a set. And I'd prefer it wouldn't. Second is Seinfeld 30th Anniversary. And I like the Seinfeld build, you know, the, the, the Jerry's apartment build. But this is also by Brent Waller, who I think, was he the one who made the firehouse and they didn't make the firehouse? And I think he might have made the original Ghostbusters. So he's been in the 10K club before. Uh, the idea of getting Lego Seinfeld is cool because, you know, I, I like the Seinfeld characters are so iconic. And uh, the build for the apartment's cool, but it is very similar to something like the Lego Friends one and the Lego Big Bang Theory. And even though I love those, I don't even like Big Bang Theory, but I like that set a lot. I'm getting kind of tired of those. And I think the, the Friends one was like the ultimate one. So I think wait a few years for a Seinfeld Lego. Though it is the 30th anniversary, so who knows? Maybe for 35th it would be a little bit more fitting. And personally, I think Lego... Well, I don't know, because, again, there is that overload of we've had these sitcom idea sets, but the Friends idea set was, I think, the best-selling idea set ever. So you can't really... you got to weigh it out. <laughs> you can't say, well, there's an overload, but it's also what sells. I mean, there's an overload of Ninjago, Star Wars, because those sell. So who knows? Personally, iffy, I would lean more towards they won't make this a set. I mean, they didn't make the Office one a set. I don't know. I think they're just going to cool off a bit, but... Uh, there's still a possibility there. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Stables. Okay, property I love, Legend of Zelda. I love anything Lego, Nintendo, and the potential of getting Lego Zelda sets is a dream come true. I mean, Mario's always been my favorite Nintendo property, but like Pokemon and then Zelda, you know? So the design of this, I personally don't attach to too much because uh, Breath of the Wild, or I guess, honestly, if, if I had to say, no, I, I guess I, I like Zelda more than Animal Crossing. Whatever. But uh, Breath of the Wild is a game that I actually didn't get too into. I didn't play too much of. I, I just, I don't know. I'm not really an open world guy. Uh, even though I guess RuneScape, if you consider RuneScape an open world, that's like the closest thing, but that's more of an MMORPG that's like kind of different. Personally, I would love to get this just because it's Lego Zelda being made. The Breath of the Wild stable, like the stable design is really cool, but I'm not too familiar with it. And uh, I think that Lego Zelda is going to sell like crazy. So this has the best chance um, out of a lot of these projects for this review to become real. But I think the thing that might hold it back is that Lego themselves might want to make Zelda sets, like make a specific one. And they don't have to give, you know, royalties to Han was yellow first. And to have the first Zelda set be the Breath of the Wild Stables, that's a less iconic idea. I would think they would start with a Hyrule Castle or something like that, which, speaking of which, we'll get to that in the next review. So personally... Still think this has a very good chance. It's something I would love to see because I love Zelda. I love Nintendo. But uh, that's just take it as you may. I, I don't know. I Again, could be made, could not be. Uh, Plan Express delivery ship. Don't think this is going to be made because way back when they just denied a Futurama project. And now they're allowing Futurama projects. Not that that's a bad thing. 
But Futurama is off the air. It is a little bit more adult than some of these uh, things that LEGO has done. But I guess it, it could be on the same level. Eh, maybe a little bit more inappropriate than like a Friends. Um, more inappropriate than The Simpsons. But uh, I, and I don't think there's too much properties of uh, Futurama or, or too much collectibles of Futurama that are being sold or, or really like popular right now. So I don't think LEGO is going to do the Planet Express UCS ship. Then we have a Ratatouille project. This one I absolutely love. This is, mm, I don't want to, I don't want to say it's my favorite in this review period because I don't remember everything here, but this is one of my favorites. And I don't know if this is going to be made uh, because currently Lego has this rule against making new molds for Lego idea sets and it's going to be like killed by the time Sesame Street comes out because there's no way they could do Sesame Street and not have minifigures with new heads and stuff. So if that rule is killed, then this has more of a chance. And uh, Wally got made, which was another Pixar property. So that goes to show that they could still do Pixar stuff. And that was a long time ago, so it's not much of an overlap, even though these aren't really the same thing. They're just both by Pixar. So I see this as one with a big chance and one I would love to see because Ratatouille is one of my favorite Pixar movies. I love restaurants. There's even like a, there's an exterior shot of this, which I didn't even see until recently. And that looks fantastic as well. Where is it? Uh, yeah, look at this. Like... I love it. I, I absolutely love it. So, uh, yeah, pretty pretty awesome uh, for the Gusto's restaurant. And I hope that gets made, and I see that as a big possibility. We just need them to have a hair-hat combo new piece uh, for Linguini. But uh, the Lego typewriter, this is one that is kind of on the scale of, say, the, the piano, uh, the globe, and the next review. One of those real-life things made into Lego. But I think the typewriter itself is a bit obsolete now. And... I don't I think that is going to make it kind of be skipped over. I don't think this is going to be made. Sorry, Steve Guinness. And did I say the last one for this one? This is by Brick Project, by the way. And this is The Legend of Bionicle Celebrating 20 Years of Lego Stories by Sakoda. I hope I said that right. This, okay, I, well, Bionicle first came out. I loved it. Haven't been to Bionicle since 2003. I love this project because this is a project that celebrates Lego history it's so different from what that was before. So it is perfect for ideas because these are like minifigures. It pays tribute to something and it celebrates 20 years. This I think has the best chance out of everything in here to be made because it is an original project, original property owned by Lego. So they don't even have to give licensing rights or anything. It is a huge original property by Lego. People love Bionicle. It's something Lego can't bring back in its old form. This is not its old form because this is minifigure scale and everything. So I could totally see this being made. I could see this being a huge hit too for all the Bionicle fans, and I'm going to buy it because I like minifigure scale stuff, and this stuff looks cool. It pays tribute to Lego history. So this is one of my favorites here, and I think that's going to be made out of everything in this review. Now, there's the house car, which is this big ship. This doesn't really interest me. Sorry, Aldrin, and I don't know if this will be made either because it is kind of a niche. Like, I don't know. It's, it's a very niche ship. Like, I, I, it's if I haven't heard of it, I can imagine a lot of other people haven't heard of it. And I don't know, does that sound pompous? I, okay, I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't want that to come off as pompous, but I'm just saying it seems very niche. It seems very big. I don't know if Lego would do this, skip. Uh, but uh, Winter Chalet, uh, seems like there's too much overlap with the Winter Village stuff. This looks cool, uh, but I don't think Lego would do it because of that overlap. They or have a Winter Village set every year, so why do another one for Lego Ideas? That's by SDRNet. And the Toronto Rocket Subway Train, minifigure scale electric train. I don't think Lego is ever going to do a train for Lego Ideas. Uh, train pieces are like expensive to make. I'm not in the train community, but I know the people in there can probably explain it better in the comments or whatever. So I don't think this is going to be made. It would be cool if it was made, but this is by Lego Vader 217. The Home Alone McAllister's House. Again, I mean, Home Alone is a huge movie in pop culture, but in recent years, I haven't. I haven't just seen that Home Alone push, maybe recently because of the Disney Plus, but for a set this big, it, I don't know, it feels a bit too niche. And those first two Home Alone movies are really the most popular ones. And what? It only appears in the first one, really. I mean, you know, it's prominent in the first one. So I can't really see them making this one. It, it just seems a bit too big. I don't know. It, it has a higher chance than some of the other ones in this uh, review. But uh, still, I don't know. That's just my two cents. And I was wondering, I was like, that piece looks familiar. That's from, I think, uh, wasn't that from Fantastic Beasts? <laughs> but uh, maybe I'm wrong with that. This is a Clockwork Aquarium by M.G. Smiley. Very cute idea. Uh, very creative idea. 
I just uh, let me see. Let me let me see it in action. Do they have it in action? Oh, here you go. Perfect. It's it is cool. I don't know. I I don't. <laughs> I could see Lego doing this one um, out of the original projects this time around, uh, besides, I guess, Bionicle. Like, out of the, the typewriter, uh, you know, that, that big ship, I could see this one being the most likely, but I just think, like, the Zelda one, they'd probably choose over it, the Bionicle one, they'd choose over it. And keep in mind that Lego can choose multiple projects in the review period. They don't have to stick to just choosing one. So who knows? We could probably get a Zelda, a Bionicle, and a Clockwork Aquarium. Personally, I think they'll probably just do Zelda... Uh, uh, you know, Zelda and uh, Bionicle and then Ratatouille. I almost forgot about Ratatouille. Uh, I don't think they'll do it. But if there was a fourth one, Clockwork Aquarium would be that. And that's good that two of my favorites are ones that I think will be made because, yeah, Ratatouille, Disney, and Lego are partners, basically, and Zelda, Nintendo, Lego just became partners, and that's something that will sell like crazy. So who knows? Anyways, this is the next review period. Let me get to it. Uh, the first 2020 LEGO Ideas review, and this is the one, 26 projects, 26 projects. So here's the thing. First off, LEGO, I, I remember we were talking about this on Bricks and Bits, which is a podcast I do with Ryan. I don't think I've ever advertised Bricks and Bits on this channel, but I do it with Ryan and Brickitect, if you know them, m and Productions and Brickitect, go check that out. But we were discussing this and we were saying, okay, is should there be new rules that you have to be getting 15,000 or 20,000 supporters? Because this is a lot. LEGO Ideas has grown, but they've always kept that 10,000 supporters thing consistent. I'm not talking about LEGO Kusa, I'm talking about LEGO Ideas. And I think what LEGO needs to do is not make restrictions like that. I don't know, 15 or 20,000. Just make more LEGO Ideas sets. Like, who's to say we can't get five or six or seven sets from this review period? That's what I would do if I was LEGO. More money, more people are happy. Because, like, let's say if they only chose, like, one space set. Like, people like me would probably be ticked off when we like the more licensed stuff. What if they only chose one license stuff? Well, the space people are going to be ticked off. So why not choose multiples, which they've done before, but never like five or six. And they've never had a review period this big. They've never had 26. So this could be the time where we just pull out five, have a wave of Lego ideas. <laughs> I don't know. That's just my two cents. Anyways, Mary Poppy, Cherry Tree Lane. Mary Poppy. I really said Mary Poppy. Mary Poppins. Uh, Mary Poppins I've watched a lot as a kid. Haven't seen it in a while. And I think in general, I don't know if it's too niche and too big. Because Tron Legacy was like the same lane. It was a live action Disney movie. Oh, this is by Disney Brick 55, by the way. And, but but here's the difference was Tron Legacy, again, a kind of niche Disney movie. I, I didn't know Mary Poppins isn't niche, but I'm saying in the pop culture zeitgeist, what is Mary Poppins nowadays? The latest movie didn't perform as well as expected. You know, that's what Mary Poppins is. And so to have something so big be so niche, I don't think they'll make it. The Tron Legacy one was at least a $35 set. You know, that was a small project. So I think this one's too big for them to really go with this. So I don't think that one's going to pass. I would actually like it. I think it's a pretty cool, like, build. Um, I could recognize this area, even though I haven't seen the movie in so long. Uh, the Mary Poppins figure looks good. That's the chimney sweeper, right? Like, I, I could recognize this. So again, I, it is iconic, but it's just, it feels like Mary Poppins as a whole isn't like beloved in the current pop culture, you know, uh, I guess environment. I don't know. Tesla Cybertruck by Brick and Nick. Great guy, of course. And the Cybertruck is, was a very, uh, you know, I guess iconic design that was revealed last year and people were talking about it and everything. And, uh, or I guess, yeah, yeah, this was revealed last year, right? I don't know if they would make this though because it just feels like uh, we'll need a few more years maybe to see how the cyber truck and everything is is received and and then lego could probably make like a creator expert model for it uh something similar to this so i don't know if that's going to pass unfortunately brick and nick i would personally love it elon musk figure <laughs> untitled goose game by a fellow player this was one where i was like wait this passed i'm not saying that's bad i was just i didn't hear that there was an untitled goose game like why well, i think i heard it once but i was like oh that's cool uh that they made a lego ideas project like i've heard of this uh and yeah I've, I've, it's an indie game it's not the biggest game out there but again almost like the tron legacy one it's small enough to make a small set will lego make it though i don't know it just it does feel maybe wait a few years for another to see how untitled goose game is received how much it holds up i guess uh because i think lego would want to wait is my two cents so yeah uh that's just my uh but that was by a fellow player 
sorry, I hate doing these unscripted ones sometimes because I, I feel so disorganized. UCS Chitty Chitty Bang Bang uh, by Norders. Another one that my mom showed me a lot when I was younger. And I think this one's even more obscure than uh, Mary Poppins. I don't think this is going to be made because of that. Not that it's a bad vehicle by any means. Personally, though, I would have rather had a minifigure scale one. Uh, the Train Station Studgate uh, Bricky Brick. This is amazing. But again, there's that whole train dilemma where, I don't know, train parts cost a lot. So they wouldn't include the train. And then, I mean, I, this has a bigger possibility out of all the other ones I've just like did out of the first four, I guess. But still, it just, it feels like it might be too big, which again, I can't even say that because there's, there's Pirate's Bay and there's the tree house, but I don't know. It feels like it, this would be even like a $400 set. It wouldn't even be like 200 or 250. So I don't know. It just, it just feels a bit too big, a bit too costly to produce with those pieces. Maybe I'm wrong though. SpaceX Falcon uh, 9. So there you go. Another uh, Elon one. Saturn 5 scale. So Lego Aviator. Uh, this one I could see being made because it's a space thing. I have no interest in, I mean, I guess because it's SpaceX, it's a little bit more interesting than like a NASA set, but I'm one of those people who just don't care for the space stuff if it ain't minifigure scale. So yeah. Will it be made? I think it's a bit too similar to the Saturn V to really be made at this time. Again, maybe in the future. I could see them doing some SpaceX, some Tesla stuff, but uh, yeah. Minifigure scale Project Gemini. This, I think, has a better chance uh, than the SpaceX one, honestly, by Stephen Howard 27. Uh, I, I mean, I like this. I like this one better than a lot of those other space ones. I do like that it's minifigure scale, but there's so many other great projects this review. I just, to me personally, it, it just looks a bit bland. It, the concept's very samey, so I don't know. Uh, Stephen Howard, I, I don't know. I, I could, I, that's why I don't know if it would pass, because it is, it is kind of samey to some of the other stuff we've gotten recently from Ideas. We just got that uh, ISS thing, too. I think they're going to cool off on the space stuff for a little bit. Uh, probably later, the, like the next review, I think they'll choose a space thing. So don't worry, space fans. <laughs> Retro Bowling Alley. Oh, I love this one. I, I love, 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 love this one. Uh, one of my favorite original ones. Such a great idea. I haven't even seen the interior and I love it. Let me see. What, what is the interior like? I mean, have you ever even gone to Lego Bowling Alley? I could think of like the bowling pins from, uh, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Oh, and they even have like a little, oh, I love that. Okay. Okay. This is, this is really awesome. Even in the interior. So I've never seen a Lego bowling alley, but the closest thing I remember there's bowling pins in like the Flintstones set or something. Uh, will this be made? It is a bit big, but I think this has a chance. Like this legitimately has a chance because it is such a unique idea. It's an original idea. It's very uh, town-like, but also not something you would see in Lego City. And they could push this out for maybe like 200, 150. So yeah, I see this as a lot of potential, very original idea and one that I love. So hopefully Astronaut Avila, your project gets made. Indiana Jones Trilogy by Ben Builds Lego. Mm, uh, this one, I'd say just, I don't think they will make this because we're getting Indiana Jones sets probably what, two years from now, I think 2021, the movie was supposed to come out and then they pushed it back because of COVID. So 2022, we'll, we'll get more Indiana Jones sets. If not next year, who knows? Maybe next year we'll get a summer wave of Indiana Jones from the original movies to build up. But I think they would rather do like a January 2022 wave of the original movies. So me, for this, it would just be like, okay, I want more Lego Indiana Jones. Like, I guess that would be the reason I would want this. But I don't, I think the build itself, it's almost, it's, it's like mini scale and like, I don't know. It's just not like, even compared to some of the other Indiana Jones sets, it's just not interesting. Like the other Indiana Jones sets were so action packed. This is a display piece. And I get that if you love the Indiana Jones line, but even then I think Indiana Jones fans would rather just buy the sets that are going to come out in two years. And I think Lego would rather just wait to put those sets out in two years. So that's by Ben Builds Lego. A uh, good, good pitch, but I don't know, not for me. Bricks and Blooms. Okay. This is by the uh, Bricks and Blooms Garden Center. This, I mean, it looks lovely. It's it's a modular building, but I think it's just, again, Lego has a modular building each year. This is something that Lego does. You don't need to do it in the ideas form because I don't think Lego will choose it because that's their territory. Something like uh, the old fishing store was much less modular and more of its own thing. That's why that got made. So I don't think this is going past Brick Red at 1980. 
Ah, Sonic Mania Green Hill Zone. I love this one so much because I love, first off, I love classic Sonic. I love Sonic Mania. And Toaster Girl did a freaking phenomenal job with this, with the, the mech from Sonic 2. Uh, <laughs> that's super nostalgic to me. And of course, you, you, re, you re-battle that in Green Hill Zone in Sonic Mania. And Sonic Mania oh, was such a great game. I hope we get a Sonic Mania 2. But uh, I don't know if this will be made... I feel like Sonic Mania, the property, isn't really being pushed by Sega. So to make a product off of that, I don't think they would kind of be down for that. They would probably just wait till Sonic Mania 2 or something in their mind. But I don't know if they would under, even understand Lego. And I just, I see some things just getting in the way of this being made that, I don't know. I, I don't know, Toaster Girl. Like, I love this set, but I don't think it's going to be made into a set. Uh, as strongly as some of the other ones. Like, I... I I still feel like this has like a, I guess this has like a, mm, a little bit higher than a 50% chance, but still, I just, I'm not like, like, I'm not like super sold that this will become a set is what I'm trying to say. I don't know. I, I love even how they did like Robotnik here. I hate like brick built characters and stuff like that. I like minifigure stuff, but they pulled off Robotnik so well and the hard boiled heavies like, ah, uh, and then Sonic with the mid legs, that looks great. It's, and it's a classic Sonic, so it's different from Dimensions. But then again, I... And then I, I'm then I I'm, I'm starting to go more towards this as being made because the Sonic Dimensions pack is like seventy bucks now. Lego sees that there's a demand there, and Mario with Mario, everybody's like, oh, bring back Lego Sonic stuff like that. Like there is a demand for this, and we've never really gotten a Lego Sonic set besides that Dimensions pack. I was gonna say crappy, but it wasn't crappy. It was for Dimensions. Dimensions itself was pretty crappy though, <laughs> and personally. If they made this, I would love to see Knuckles and Tails. Lego doesn't make new molds for Lego ideas, but again, that might change with Sesame Street. So if they do make this, please add Knuckles and Tails. Personally, again, this has a strong chance, but there's just something that's making me hesitate about it. But if they end up doing five or four picks from this review period, I could see this being made. So I don't know. It depends what Lego is going to do. The Great Fishing Boat. I like this one better than that boat from the last one, and this is by Edward Klo. It's just a little bit more colorful. It, it looks neater, in my opinion. And it's a set, actually, that I, I do like. That. I, I didn't pay much mind to this, and I'm kind of reacting to it fairly fresh. Yeah, I like this. I, I like this. Uh, it's a good idea, too. We don't get too many elaborate fishing boats. And I could see Lego leaning in on this one a little bit. Uh, I'd say it probably has as much, a little bit less chance than Sonic. But uh, because it is... Like, Lego hasn't really released a detailed boat in a while. And I'm not talking about pirate ships, obviously. <laughs> we mostly get Lego City stuff. I mean, there was the container ship from, what, 2013 when they re-released that or whatever. But, yeah, this this could be a hit. I could actually see this being made. So, again, less chance than Sonic. But if they're choosing six sets, I could see this being the six. <laughs> I guess I see Sonic as being the fifth or fourth. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Knight Rider kit. I don't know. I was going to say it's too niche, but Lego did a Lego Ideas pack for this, so who knows? Uh, but still, I don't know. I just think the after that pack flopped to hardcore, I think Lego won't do this one, Jimmy DK. Not that it looks bad. It's not for me, but like it looks good. It looks sleek and everything. It looks like a kit, right? That's it, kit. Uh, Snow Groomer. Okay, Pinoff Pino Lee Wolf. This is definitely not for me, but I don't. I have no. I don't know. I don't know if this could be or this won't be i don't know much about lego technic to see if this is too similar to something so i don't have a comment on this one red dara zero zero uh but it would be interesting if a, a technic based thing like one for lego ideas because have we really had like a technic based set win for ideas would that be against the rules because you're releasing sets of a current theme i don't know i, I have no clue but uh I, I i wouldn't believe it would be so who knows castle in the forest uh the castle in the forest is a beautiful set I like that. I really like that. But there is another castle in this review that I think has a bigger chance. And I think that's why LEGO won't do this one. And we get, we've get we gotten like castles and, and medieval stuff pitched before in LEGO Ideas. And we haven't really gotten any, right? The blacksmith shop is coming out. But I think that will have a bit of overlap with this. So I, I don't know. I just think that because there's another castle here, because the blacksmith shop is coming out, they're going to not choose like a castle themed set. This is by Povok. So yeah, I don't think this one's very likely. Coraline's Pink Palace Apartments. Oh, I love I love this set, and Coraline's a pretty good movie. Uh, but I don't think this is going to be made because Coraline, again, it it is popular, but it's it doesn't have that much in the pop culture scene right now. And this set is a very big set. 
So it's it's kind of the same case uh, with the Mary Poppins one, but very very well done. And uh, I could see a lot of people who don't even care about Coraline getting the set because it just looks fantastic. So maybe that has it going for it uh, because it is very unique with the pink and everything. But who knows? Historically accurate Rome by Dave Viad. I I don't think they'll do this because it's mm, I don't know. It's it's very. It honestly, I don't like micro scale stuff. I kind of like this. Like it's very detailed and elaborate, and it's a beautiful display piece. But it just feels—I don't know. It, it feels a bit too complex. And I want to say it again: take a shot of milk every time I say niche. <laughs> it, it feels a bit less popular. Of uh, like it would—it would sell less than some of the other projects here. Is what I'm really trying to say when I'm saying niche and everything. Ruined house. This is really interesting. I mean, look at that. And it kind of is minifigure scale, albeit a bit oversized. I would wish it was more minifigure scale. But, like, I don't know. That's too... Like, Lego would sell a ruined house. Like, do you see how that kind of looks a bit weird? Like, a, selling a old, decrepit house. That's why we have, like, Monster Fighters and, and, and Scooby-Doo. And then, of course, Hidden Inside Now with all the rundown stuff. That's where I think they'll do the rundown stuff. Not as its own set. Like, you're selling something that's very run down as its own set, and I think that could be a problem on LEGO's part. Personally, I really like this, and if it was minifigure scale, or just a little bit more downsized, I would like it even more. And I could see if LEGO did this, it would be downsized and more minifigure scale. But that's by Curteam, very fantastic product, but I don't think it will be made. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I love how I was saying, oh, this is my favorite, this is my favorite. And I totally forgot this. This was one of the reasons I made this video, the SpongeBob SquarePants Krusty Krab. Of course, I'm on a little LEGO SpongeBob kick. Um, and I've been watching a lot of the old episodes too recently. Uh, it's been helping. This is by X Sandbox. This is my favorite Lego Ideas project that is in any of these reviews. And I love the Ratatouille one. I love the Zelda ones. Stuff like that. I love the Coraline one. But this is fantastic. This is like, it's so good. <laughs> if you look at the old Krusty Krab sets and everything, which uh, I, I had the first one when I was younger. And then I got the, I actually just got a second copy of the 2009 one. They were so, they were just a facade, really. They were very not, you know, they were more of a playset. They weren't accurate. This is extremely accurate. I mean, look at the inside here. They even have, like, the three rooms or whatever. Uh, with or I, I won't, well, I don't want to say the three rooms, because I, I I remember there being, what, like a little cellar or something? That's where the hashing and slasher episode, like, there was an extra room or something. So it's, it's not consistent. But, like, the three rooms I would remember would be, like, Mr. Krabs' room, the kitchen, and then, well, I guess the bathroom, what? Uh, they've shown the bathroom a few times. Did they show in the training video with the people order our patties part? I don't remember. But mostly Mr. Krabs' room and then, of course, the kitchen. Like, those are two. And then they have all of the dining, well, not all of them, but they have some dining tables and how they did that was fantastic. And not only that, but they put effort into the minifigures as well. Like, if you see, Sandy now has a tail, which might require a new piece, unfortunately, but I'm not sure. Uh, or is that the Rocket Raccoon one? Who knows? And then Squidward actually is a little bit more accurate with dual molded arms. SpongeBob has dual molded arms, and he should have dual molded legs, and he probably will have dual molded legs, so don't worry. The Krusty Krab logo is this full thing. We even got, like, Patrick. This is something that not only is such a detailed thing, this will sell like crazy, because SpongeBob is still super popular. Case in point, there's a new movie coming out this year. SpongeBob is beloved by everybody. And even more importantly, the demand for SpongeBob is now more than ever because the people who grew up with Lego SpongeBob are now adults. We now have ex you know disposable income. We can now buy something expensive like this. So I think Lego is going to target the heck out of that older demographic for people like us, you know, the 20s. We're, we grew up on SpongeBob and stuff like that. And they're going to target that and they're going to release this set. And I think this has the biggest chance out of any licensed thing on this LEGO IDs uh, review stage to be made because this is just, it's so well done. It's something that will sell like hotcakes. It's something that's relevant. It's something that is even relevant to LEGO because we haven't had SpongeBob sets in forever, but Mega Bloks doesn't have the license anymore. It's everything lines up perfectly. I feel like this will be made. The only way this wouldn't be made is if some other building set company got the license. And as far as I checked, I don't know if any did. Heck, who knows? Maybe LEGO even approached them ahead of time and was just like, hey, you know, don't get, don't get, don't, don't like, don't sign with anybody else. And we might even be getting new SpongeBob sets soon enough. Like I could see them bringing back Lego SpongeBob, not even related to this. So 
If this doesn't get made, though, I would assume that we will get SpongeBob sets in the next year or two. Like, I think that would be the reason. Unless, again, another building company just got the license and we don't know. So, yeah, perfect. This will sell. And I, I just love that. I love that so much. Okay, so working waterfall with continuous flowing water. Oh, I, see, this is one where I wasn't even aware of this one. I went over all these, but I must have skipped it. You know, let's see it. That's interesting. So it just, it goes, so it kind of like recycles. That is, that is, I like that idea. Look at that, how that works. That is, and I like the interior there. That is actually legitimately interesting um, on, on everything, but I feel like it is a bit, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think for what it is, it's going to cost, a bit because it has a motor and everything and i don't know if people are going to be willing to pay for this but i'll I, I would be personally i just don't think a lot of other people would be willing to pay for a working lego waterfall like that's kind of a hard sell you see what i'm saying like by lego paradise uh but out of all these function ones like you know the, the working aquarium or something from the last one the piano one this is probably my favorite the function itself is really cool it's not like the best function ever like it it does seem like only a few studs kind of flow through there. I, I mean, I imagine it's incredibly hard or whatnot. I would have wished for a bit more studs to be flowing continuously. But uh, it's still a pretty interesting uh, concept and everything like that. And I love how this looks. I love mountain stuff. and I love waterfalls. But I don't think Lego will make it because it is just, it, it will cost a lot. And I don't think it's, the demand is there. You know, and that's by, again, Lego Paradise. Uh, Queen Miracle Express. So, Funny enough, we got a Queen uh, project in the last review, or any Queen one in this review. I don't think either will be made. Uh, if anything, I think somebody needs to make like a very small Queen, like just make a smaller scale Queen, and you could be based off a music video. It could be based off a stage. I don't know. Just make a smaller scale one. You might have more of a chance with that. As it stands now, I think first off, they're not going to do Lego Ideas trains, and it just feels like. Uh, too big of a set because even with the Beatles which is one of the biggest bands ever you know the Yellow Submarine was it felt scaled in some ways and it was, it was 60 bucks you know it wasn't the biggest set ever something like this would already be 80 off the bat so I don't know Futurama Planet Express Headquarters Spaceship and the crew okay so they say and the crew so I do want to see the crew uh, but this is again somebody submitted a really good one a few years ago got denied so I guess they're allowing it all of a sudden which is interesting Mega Bloks did have the license a few years ago but I don't think it uh, they'll, I don't think they still have it and you have the crew here. So I guess he hasn't like updated it. It says a sneak peek of the next update, but that's really for something Lego to fill in and everything. But huh, I kind of like that piece for Layla's hair. I think that actually works pretty well. Uh, but either way, I think first off the characters would look kind of weird without molded heads. And if Lego can't do, you know, new pieces, they can't make molded heads. But then again, I thought the same with, uh, Flintstones and those came out pretty well, but basically kind of the same reasons I said before with the Futurama project. It's not in the pop culture right now. I don't even know it's not a streaming service or anything. Uh, and also it, it feels a bit, maybe just a tad adult for it. So I don't, I don't know if they'll do it. Uh, the Iron Giant 20th Anniversary Edition. This one by Brett Cove. I swear there was an Iron Giant Ideas project like before. This does have a shot though i think uh because it, it is a 20th anniversary it isn't the most elaborate build ever like it's not like an expensive set this is like this could be like what 40 maybe 50 am i wrong in saying that with the scaling or am i overpricing that because it looks smaller than i would expect and yeah so they could push it out like a tron legacy for 30 to 40 maybe 50 and i could see it being a moderate hit because iron giant is again not it's like on Coraline level you know but it's not this big set. You could just have a small set. So I see this having a chance. Not the biggest chance, but it has a chance. So that's by Brett Cove. Uh, okay, so this is the Breath of the Wild Hyrule Castle. Um, yeah, this this is interesting, okay? So like, there was two castles. You know, we, we had that castle before uh, in this review phase. I think this one has more of a chance because this would just sell better. It's Zelda, and it's something LEGO has never done before. They've never done LEGO Zelda. But I don't think Lego's going to make this one, and I'll tell you why. The last Lego Ideas phase, what is it? Uh, I'm going all the way back. The Breath of the Wild Stables. Uh, that one, this could be cheaper and more realistically priced for most idea sets for, like, say, a new license or whatever. I guess Voltron was 200 so throw that out the window. And 
this right here, I feel like they would go with the one from uh, Ocarina of Time because the one from Ocarina of Time is a little bit more iconic. I personally like that one better because I grew up with Ocarina of Time. I didn't really play Breath of the Wild too much. And the Ocarina of Time one, I feel like the only problem they would have is that if they do a Princess Peach Castle set, which I still think they're going to, there would be a little bit of a con conflict there because it does have a boxy look similar to 64 Peach's Castle because both were 64 games. But, yeah, I, I just think that if LEGO was to do uh, Zelda ideas, they would do the stables, even though it's less iconic than Hyrule Castle, because Hyrule Castle would be this big thing that I think they would want to do themselves. Like, they would want to do that themselves next year based off of Ocarina of Time, because that's the more iconic one, you know? But who knows? Who knows? Uh, but that's just my two cents. I would love to see this, though, because it's a Hyrule Castle in LEGO form, which is incredible. Anyways, uh, Blue Origin, New Glen Rocket, Launch Tower, and Blue Moon Lander, one out of one time set. Wow. Uh, yeah, I don't have interest in this one because I'm not into mini scale stuff and I'm not into space. Uh, that's, you know, mini scale or whatever. Matthew Nolan and What's Up Today submitted this. And I, I think, again, I, I think they're going to cool off of, of space for just this period and last period. And then, you know, next review phase or whatever you want to call it, they'll do a space set. We did just get that fan vote one, um, you know, the, the one from the contest, the ISS. And then finally, the Earth Globe. This is a very creative idea. This is this is another one, uh, kind of like the Waterfall. Uh, I think out of all of those, including the Waterfall, this one has an even bigger chance. I think this one has the best chance out of all those functioning things because it is so unique, but also so iconic. It's a globe. It's something you could put anywhere. I think this legit, if they could pull this off to be a very stable build or whatever, which it seems like the mock person already did, this will be chosen. Uh, so there you go. And this one is still coming soon, they say. But wow. Okay. So that is my thoughts on those two re review periods. I just want to do a quick kind of overview. The ones I think for this review period that will be made will be, do, 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 I place my bets on Bowling Alley. I'm going to choose five. Sonic Mania, Globe uh iron giant and crusty crab of course i think the most likely one is the crusty crab second most likely is the globe uh third most likely would be sonic mania oh, okay I, I thought it was gonna be oh no third would be bowling alley fourth would be sonic mania okay there you go fourth would be sonic mania fifth would be iron giant and yeah so that's it for that one and then for the last uh, uh let me see and then for the third 2019 LEGO review, I think the most likely is Ratatouille, uh, the Breath of the Wild Stables, and, um, oh, for sure the Bionicle one. Like, the Bionicle one. And then for the third 2019 LEGO review, most likely is the Bionicle one. Uh, second most likely is mm, Breath of the Wild Stables. Third would be aquarium and then fourth ratatouille or, or third ratatouille fourth aquarium yeah fourth aquarium okay third ratatouille second stables and then first would be bionicle so let's hope my predictions are like because uh if my predictions are right those are all sets i like but i'm not basing my predictions because they're sets i like I, that's just legitimately things i think will be made so let me know which ones you guys want and which ones you guys think will be made in the comments below i'll see you guys later peace out